Hello guys, my name is Vivs here from Slide Nerd. This is my very first video on iOS using Swift. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can install Xcode. Before we do that, let's take a look at three important points. First, who should take this course? If you're a person who has never coded before, or you coded something but not iOS, or you coded iOS with Objective C but not with Swift. Regardless of which category of programmer you are, I assure you that at the end of the series, you will know everything there is to know about iOS. The second thing that I would like to point out is that this course is also available on Udemy under this link, which is right below in the description of this video. The third thing, if you go to our channel, which would be Slide Nerd, if you take a look at our playlist over here, you will notice that there is a playlist called iOS and Swift Tutorial for Beginners. Now this is where this video and the rest of the videos in iOS are going to be placed. And there's also another playlist called Swift Tutorial for Beginners. Now this includes only Swift videos. So be sure that you check out our playlist and videos from the playlist section if you want to go in order from 1 to N. And because that's how our course is going to be structured. Step 1. Go to Google and type Download Xcode. You will be presented with several choices. The one that we are interested in comes from developer.apple.com. Open that link in a new tab. When you do that, you will notice that you are presented with a list of choices for downloading Xcode. The version numbers that you see at the time you are watching this video may be quite different than 6.3 and 6.4. Remember, major changes in Xcode happen when it jumps from 6 to 7, 7 to 8 and so on. A minor version like 6.3 to 6.4 doesn't really have much difference and as Xcode updates, the videos immediately after this one in the playlist will be updated to set up Xcode on the latest versions. In my case, I'm going to download the beta release which simply means it requires more testing. In your case, if you want the stable release, you can have this option which says view in the Mac App Store. Let's open that link in the new tab and see what it looks like. When you do that, you get this request here which says Google Chrome needs to launch an external application. Let's click launch application. When you do that, you will notice that the App Store application starts over here and it presents Xcode inside its screen. If you go at the top, there's an option here called get. Let's click get and then there's the option which says install app. At this point, you will require or you will need to log in to your Apple developer account if you have one. If you don't have one, let's take a look at how we can make it. I'll close this, both links. And I will go to the beta release here, which says download Xcode beta 2. I'm going to click download option over there. And I'm presented with the screen here, which says login with your Apple ID. Now there's an Apple ID that you're going to need to download Xcode. Let's open that in the new tab and find out what the process of creating an Apple ID looks like. You have to enter your details, which would include your name, middle name, last name, Apple ID, password, security questions, date of birth, email, and finally, at the bottom, you have the option that simply says create an Apple ID. It's absolutely free to create and you will need it if you want Xcode and other news related to your development stuff from Apple. Now, in my case, I already have an ID. So let me go back to that screen and enter my details over here. Once I enter my credentials, I can just hit sign in over here and you will notice that Xcode immediately starts downloading on my left hand corner over here. The file is roughly 2.6 to 3 GB in size and as such it's going to take a considerable amount of time depending on how fast or how slow your internet is. So my download has finally completed and there's my Xcode 6.4 beta file right here. Let's start that by double clicking it. Once you do that you will notice this window that says opening Xcode but there is some kind of verification going on here. If this is the first time you're installing Xcode, I suggest that you let this verification happen instead of skipping it. Once the verification completes, you will notice that there is this dialog that pops up here which says drag to install Xcode in your applications folder. Let's do that. Let's just take this and drag it right inside applications. When you do that, there is going to be some kind of copy operation that's going to start which you can see right here which says preparing to copy to applications. As you notice, in the second stage of copying, you get this message saying copying something out of 5.76 GB. Once complete, all you have to do is go to the bottom here to applications. When you open that, you will notice Xcode inside it. Now in my case, it's an Xcode beta here. But if you downloaded the stable release, you will just see Xcode written over here. Let's go back and start it. We can just click it 
and it's going to launch Xcode. As soon as the launch starts, you see this message which says verifying Xcode beta. Let it complete. And finally, after the verification is over, I get this message saying Xcode is an application downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? Of course. Let's click open there and see what happens. And when all things are done, you finally go down here. You notice the Xcode icon. You pop it up and you will see Xcode opening up at the top with a message which says welcome to Xcode. And there are three options given here. Xcode has just started and so are we just getting started with iOS. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to dig a lot more into iOS in our playlist. So in this video, I have shown you how to install Xcode. In the next video, I will show you how to write the Hello World app. We are also on Udemy. You can just Google us out or slide in on Udemy and our social accounts on Twitter and Facebook. All the code that we write in the series is available on GitHub, which again can be Googled out as slide note GitHub. So be sure to let us know what you think about this video in the comments below. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.